it's Sunday morning and I'm off to get some uh, food from Walmart. I'm going to get some breakfast and maybe some dinner food, just a few pieces so that I can make it through the day. And then I plan to go visit a park or two because I've got a bit of free time finally. Anyway, here we go. to donate today? How many store provided bags did you use today? One. Five. Seven. Your total is 1259. Please select your payment method. Follow the instructions on the pin pad. I missed the part where the machine asks me how we did today and I answer very rudely. I really don't like the way um, retail stores are going these days with these machines, but you gotta live with it. Sometimes I just put in the word park and ask uh, Google to give me a map towards local parks so today i came down to a regional park i've actually forgotten its name now it's a small lake park and uh, it's really quite a pretty lake very small with farms around it but the water is still very high so uh, i guess there was a road here but the road is now eroded or is now underwater because the lake is high, uh, obviously from snow melt and stuff in the spring. So I came down here to have my breakfast and uh, there's really no place other than sit in my truck and have my breakfast there. There's a sign over here that tells me a little bit about the park but I can't get any closer than that. I don't know what kind of bird this is, but uh, hi there, little guy. What are you up to this morning? Oh, look at that little baby chick. I don't know if you guys, I can barely see it myself, but because of the sunlight, but there he is, look at him. There's a whole gang of little chicks behind my head shadow. Look at these little guys. Awesome little, really cute. Holy crap. Look at them. Little coots or something. There's mum or dad in the background hiding behind some of the bush there. Anyway, these are cute little guys. I'm kind of amazed, that's nice. So, walking back to the bus, I'm gonna go find a, another spot. I wanna sit down outside and eat. The next park I went to was a, a dog park and it was just a very tall hill with lots of grass, no amenities, no picnic tables, so I'm back on the road.
After being in the countryside and driving down country roads, looking at horses and little coots, getting on the highway is a little bit of a downer for me. Uh, you got to pay attention. You don't get to see as much. And there's really, look at the divider there that stops me from getting off the road. So I made it down to the location where I'm going to do my photo shoot. And uh, the only thing different about today is that I tried to take you to some parks and failed. <laughs> uh, I didn't really fail. I showed, showed you some coops. But the uh, reason I'm, I take that trip each day is because I need to come and find a uh, location for our photo shoot. So I'm taking you down into the small little spot that I frequently use because I uh, need to find something relatively private. One of the reasons that I come to this location, I'm sitting in my chair because I had previously placed it here to save my spot. One of the reasons I come to this location is that I can have something that's relatively private and a small little beachfront for my model. Uh, she needs to change and stuff, I walk up there she changes, I come back, but there's nobody here to see her while she's doing that. So it creates a private area for us to do the photo shoot, and it keeps other people from gawking, which sometimes makes my model or my client very uh, nervous. I'm just going to turn the camera around so I can show you where I'm at. It's a very beautiful little spot. Probably one of the best places to hang out on the beach if you want a private experience. It's really tiny. In fact, it's about 10 feet wide that you can see here. But we end up with a beautiful view. And, uh, you know, for some people, things like ducks in the water like this, it's kind of a nice sight. So that's the kind of view that I have with my model. And that's sort of what my, that, my morning commute is like that every day, except that I'm not out looking for new places to show you in a video. So one of my problems in creating, like I'm not making videos anywhere near as often as before. And that's because my days are, since COVID started, I've been, I was isolated and then we still kind of remain isolated to some degree. And I can't be driving around uh, from one place to another because I organized these photo shoots. And in the case of Kelowna, I've organized them for about a total of about, what, maybe two weeks, something like that from the 15th to the 30th. But I've only got two more days of photo shoots here and then at the present time I have three days that I can uh, go to uh, other places like to visit other places on the way from here to Edmonton at least that's the present situation I might end up organizing another photo shoot in the meantime but the way it is so far I'm uh, stuck in Cologne and I it's not stuck here I want to be here I've made appointments and everything I'm quite busy. I think it's uh, four. I, each day for the next two days, I shoot uh, two more girl, two more uh, models. So I'm going to stand up, show you around, give you another view of uh, the kind of place that I'm in. It almost looks tropical to many people. And then I'm going to say good night or say good good day to the to all of you. Maybe uh, I'll see you again uh, tomorrow. But thanks a lot for watching my video. You get a thumbs up for watching my video, and if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, tell some friends, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow or maybe the day after. And here's a little another view of my lake, or the lake. This is Woods Wood Lake or Woods Lake, just north of Kelowna. It's very, very beautiful. It's, the other end of the lake is called uh, interestingly enough, the community is called Lake Country, but it's a very beautiful lake. Anyway, 
Have a good day. Good night. See you tomorrow.